Hello everyone, it is Andrew from MAO Magic, and here I'm going to give a hands-on and uh, initial setup of HomeKit. After being initially announced at uh, WWDC in 2014 and released with part of iOS 8, hardware is now, a year later, finally hitting the market. We're going to use the Lutron Caseta app to kind of do our setup, then we're going to go into the actual HomeKit stuff itself. The first thing that we had to do was create a home, so we called this just Andrew's home for the sake of our demo. We then added our hardware code, so each piece of hardware for this for this instance was our Lutron base. We have to add that hardware setup code from the hardware itself to the app, which is going to enable it for HomeKit. We are then going to pair whatever hardware we have. In this case, it's for the Lutron system. This is how we add our hardware to it. So we're adding our dimmer. We're going to add a couple lights to that dimmer, give it a name, and add it here into the app. This is going to be different for each piece of hardware. Obviously, you're not going to be adding a light switch if you're setting up something like a smart lock or a blind system or a, a nest or a thermostat of some sort. So right now, HomeKit is not in its own app. It is lives in other apps themselves. So here we actually have a Siri integration panel inside of the Lutron app. So we're going to add rooms and zones. Rooms are going to be actual rooms, bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, living room, etc. Zones are going to be, say, upstairs, downstairs, right wing, uh, stuff like that. So you can, say, turn off the upstairs lights, and it can handle it. Now that we have some stuff uh, added, we can actually use Siri. So we can do, hey, Siri, turn on the bedroom lights, and it can handle it because I have those lights in there called bedroom lights, and I have that room. So now you can do the same thing, turning my bedroom lights off, and Siri almost immediately replies back, hey, you've turned them off. If you're gonna be using uh, HomeKit, or I guess, if you're gonna be using Siri to control things outside of your house, you're gonna need an Apple TV. So the Apple TV is basically going to be the home base, the hub uh, for all of your stuff for remote capabilities. So without an Apple TV home on your network, you cannot use Siri remotely to control your devices. So this would be useful if you're out and about and you go, hey Siri, did I leave my lights on? She can tell you yes or no, and then she can turn them off for you. That will not, again, work unless you have an Apple TV. So those are like 69 bucks now. Hopefully some new hardware coming out in uh, WWDC 2015 or fall of 2015, uh, hopefully, is what I think everyone's expecting. So we are using the Lutron app right now with Lutron hardware. There's a lot of other hardware out there and hopefully a lot of others coming soon, such as the August Smart Lock, uh, maybe Nest, I don't know. I think they've said no, they're not doing it, as well as the Hue. Uh, Philips Hue is supposed to be supporting it. So right now everything's a little bit limited to what we can do, but we're still going to plug away. The next thing I want to look at is the actual settings app. So we can kind of see how stuff is configured back in the settings app on your end. There's two particular places that you're going to want to look. So the first place is going to be the actual HomeKit panel. That's going to live inside of privacy, inside of settings. So settings, privacy, and then HomeKit. And it's telling you right now that Lutron app is using all of my HomeKit stuff. You can also look at the iCloud settings. And inside there, you're going to have to make sure the iCloud keychain is turned on. That's what's going to allow you to sync your, uh, your HomeKit settings to different devices, as well as enable it uh, in general. So it will warn you that it has to be turned on. Next, we're going to take a look at iCloud syncing, which is how this is going to work on different devices. So basically, I just showed you how that works, which is by enabling that iCloud keychain on each device. So we have the Lutron app exclusively on my iPhone. We have it set up. But here I have my iPad. I have iCloud keychain turned on. Give it a few minutes because it does take a few minutes for everything to kind of sync across. But now HomeKit is working fine and I can turn my lights on and off without issue. So that's all you really need to do is to make sure to work on different devices. I don't have, I didn't set anything up on here. I did not install the Lutron app. Works seamlessly. Next, let's take a look at adding users. So again, this could depend on the different app that you're using to control HomeKit because kind of they can all work together. But here we're using the, Lo the Lutron Caseta app. So all you do is go into those Siri settings in your home. Then you can add users. So I can go in here, I can put in my friend's uh, Apple ID, and here Zach Nelson is now added as a user. I had to go back and come back in once he approved it on his end, but now without doing any configuration on his side, it works completely fine. We'll take a look now at adding scenes, which again is going to be an app-specific uh, feature, the way it's going to work. But basically you go into here, you can look at your scenes and add a new scene. You can add a name to the top. You can choose an icon. Uh, so we're going to just call this the away, our away scene. You can choose what light and kind of what setting that they should go to. 
it's all set up. So now I have like my bedtime scene, my TV scene, and my away scene. So like your away scene can like close your garage door, turn off your lights, close your blinds. Your TV scene can turn your lights down to a certain like maybe 20% as well as everything else. So you can kind of set those things up how you'd like them. And ideally when everything is more connected, they can do multiple things at once controlling multiple devices and not just lights. Other than that, that pretty much covers our first look and hands-on with Apple's HomeKit. Any questions, throw them up in the comments, subscribe, and I will see you next time.